Brother Steven, thank you so much. We are with the Culture Project, as you, as you know. <laughs> um, I just wanted to ask you a couple of quick questions. So, uh, my first question to you is, when you first hear the word chastity, what is the first thought or word that comes to your head? Unity with Christ, but that's because of, I'm a religious and I have a vow of chastity. And so when I think of chastity, I don't think as much as a denial as much as a closeness to Jesus. Mm. With your closeness to Jesus and practicing chastity, what does that look like on a daily basis for you? On a daily basis, I like to think of it a lot in, in relational qualities. So, you know, us religious, we don't get married because, not, not just to deny, because marriage is a beautiful good, but that we can also serve and, and be closer to Christ. So on a daily basis, it's obviously like, hey, I, I have all this time to do ministry because, you know, I am not with a, a spouse, even though that is living chastity too. Yeah, yeah, of course. How is... Um Throughout your life, how what role has chastity played for you? I mean, maybe from like during your time as being a brother or even before then, what does that look like for you? Yeah, that's, a, that's an interesting question. Um, I'd have to think a little bit more, but like before being a brother, I think a lot of a lot of times we, we think of chastity in the negative, like, oh, denial, don't do that. You know, as if like sex was bad, as if like that's not part of God's plan. It's always like, oh, that's scary. Like, and it was always that fear based, like, oh, you know, Oh, just be chaste, just be chaste, because you don't want to get hurt. Yeah. But I mean, that that could work, but that's not the fullness of God's plan, right? Mm -hmm. Love, sex, and marriage—beautiful, beautiful things, beautiful gifts. I mean, we're procreating with God to, you know, to have children. So before, I think a lot of times it was viewed in that negative way as a denial. And so, like, one of my big things that I would love to, to tell people is like the gift of chastity the gift of you know not following each passion so that you can love more intentionally so that you can really give yourself in a pure and holy way not just a cheap hookup kind of way so that's that's the kind of the d deeper level that I wish was taught to me when I was younger and you know and I want that for everyone else yeah. would you say that that's a misunderstanding that a lot of young people have today also that it's like really just like a denial and restriction oh for sure i mean we did a panel on our campus a few months ago and it was like ask the friars any question but you know people were a little more uh nervous so they wrote them out and one of them was like how is it how is it living chastity on a college campus and it was framed that way because they were like how is it for you as a brother to deny you know looking at all these beautiful women or not being able to act on it and i thought why why is it phrased in such a negative way there's that universal call we're all called to chastity even in the, in the right for marriage, it talks about expressing the chaste love in its appropriate way within the bonds of marriage. So we all have that universal call to chastity because it's about that proper ordering of our sexual desires. So I hate to look at it in such a negative way, but rather in the positive, like proper ordering of what the gift that God has given us. What role would you say chastity has to play in the world today? Like, how do you think it can, like, what role do you think it has to play in healing our culture and healing our world today? Yeah, good question. Um, we live in a culture that is all about satisfying our every desire instantaneously. And I think chastity can be a great sign. You know, it talks about in the Bible that a sign of contradiction to the world. You know, and that can be a sign of contradiction to the culture that's so intensely focused on satisfying every need. And living chastity be like, no, this is, this is true love. It's not just going after our lower passions, but it is saving and using our, our love in a chastened holy way in the proper ordering. So I think it'd be such a, such a witness to be like, wait, why is that, that guy not part of the hookup culture? Why is that girl, you know, not just hook, using cheap sex? Like, what? there's got to be something. And they seem happier. Like, I think it could be such a witness, such a sign of contradiction to the world. Yeah. Well, brother, thank you again. That's all the questions we have for you. Awesome. You answered beautifully. And